Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I want to apologize in advance. I did not do a coffee time video this week. School has been kicking my butt. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, so with that, I haven't been reading nearly as much, which is frustrating. Um, but I do get up about 45 minutes early in the morning and that's usually my reading time. Um, unless I read later in the evenings. So, I just want to update you guys on my life since we haven't had coffee time. Um, your girl learned how to bake some bread. I am currently working on my third loaf in two days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I figured out what I might have done wrong with my first two. So, we are troubleshooting with my third one. Um, I also tried to clean up Dog Tinkle. On the carpet and whilst I was carrying a bowl of water to said location uh, I I slipped I slipped and I fell mm -hmm. yeah just boom all 250 pounds of me boom Lola is looking at me like mm -hmm. you feel damn didn't even bother to help how disrespectful. Anyway, um, so I have this little knob here, and I don't know if y'all can see it. It's a little red mark. It did bruise instantly. Um, I not really sure what I hit it on when I fell. I actually don't think I hit it on anything, but my watch came up like this, so it's not even like I crashed into it. Um, and if if you feel it, um, there's a hard spot. <laughs> I feel like there's something broke in there. There's a hard spot that just kind of moves around back and forth and it hurts. It's like a hard knob moving around. So that's where we're at. Hmm, wonderful. I know. So um, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for all of the subscriptions, all of the likes and all of that jazz. So while we're not having coffee today, there is always a beverage within my grasp. And uh, we are here with Clearly American, Clear American, sorry. I get it confused with Clearly Canadian because that stuff is good. Fuji Apple Carbonated Beverage. Um, oh, I'm glad I didn't do anything crazy with that. Cat's not even on. Anyway. Anyway, oh, and let's talk about my hair. I'll never be able to do this again. This is this is me just throwing it up in a bun, pulling out that, and then I look on camera and I'm like, oh, well, we're going to roll with it. And I hope you guys love the intro to this video because let me tell you, I've spent the last hour and a half finding the perfect intro to the video. So let's go ahead and jump into why we're actually here. We are here for this book right here. Excuse me. Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand. I always call her Hildebrand and then I realize that it's wrong, but it's Hillenbrand. Um, so this is a fantastic book. It is about an Olympian, a German Olympian um, who ends up, fighting on a fighter jet in World War II, and him and part of his crew do end up um, captured by the Japanese, and they are put in a POW camp. So, um, this is a true story. It's fantastic. Um, there are tons of pictures in here. Um, there's, let me tell you, you're going to laugh, you're going to cry, you're going to cry. You're going to feel frustration. Um, but it's a beautifully written book. I'm trying to find um, a nice picture to show you guys. Um, his name is Louis. The man's name is Louis Zamperini. Um, he was a teenager. He channeled his defiance into running. Um, he ended up in the Berlin Olympics. Um, the athlete became an airman. 
And his plane went down in 1943. They crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Um, so him and his guys were all on um, all on this little air like um, floating air raft, basically. Um, so I'm going to show you this picture right here, um, just to kind of show. It's not it's not graphic. This is a good picture. Um, but this is all. I don't know if you can see that. This is all of the guys. Um, this picture was taken at the end of the war. These are the men in the POW camp. See how excited they are? It's over. And, you know, for those that survived it, they're going home. They're going home to their people, you know. And it's just, it's a, it's a beautiful story. It's well written. Um... Sorry, the dog's making noise. Um, this is also a picture from it. And this is titled as um, American POWs after their liberation from the Japanese camp. See how crazy that is. Golly. It is. And this is after they've been liberated. So these guys did survive. Um. This is the first book that I read when I um, became incarcerated in um, Tarrant County Jail, awaiting to figure out what was going to become of my life after. So, um, it's a really good book. It remains um, one of my top favorites. My sister, actually, and she's not... I was going to say she's not a huge reader. She is. She reads like I do. Um, <laughs> at the time, she wasn't really a huge reader. and I mean, part of it is she just didn't, blatantly didn't have the time. But they had to read this for school. And um, there's a huge fly in my office. It seems like every time I'm here with you guys, there's a fly. There's a problem. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, this book, it is... It's amazing. They said it's um, a major motion picture. I need to do a little research because I want to find it. I love reading a book and then um, I love reading a book and then watching the movie. I feel like I don't know. I feel like it finally puts like a visual to what you have in your head. So, um, again, this is this is the cover of the book. Um, my mom got this at Thrift Books, like, six years ago. So, um, yeah, check this one out. There are some pretty graphic images in here. Um, more graphic than the last one that I showed you. So, just bear in mind that um, this is a reality that some people went through. I mean, and this was happening in the same time as, you know, I mean, this World War II. So, same time the Holocaust was going on, the Japanese were doing the same thing. They were holding men hostage. Um, and just this guy, I keep coming to his picture, so that shows me I need to show you. This man right here, he... This man is evil. This man is evil. Um, I can't remember what they call them. The bird. Sorry, my eyeballs are We're going to multitask. Um, they called him the bird, but he was one of the most vicious officers at this camp. <sighs> so vicious. Um, so, I want you guys to go... Google it. Um, if you guys find where I can find the movie before I find where I can find the movie, please drop it in the comments. Please, please, please drop it in the comments. Or I just dropped something over there. Or find me on TikTok and stitch me, do at me, just message me, do something. I need to know. So, um, guys, that is going to conclude our book review of the week in Tracy's book nook. 
Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all of your support. And I really hope you guys love this intro as much as I love the intro. Intro. Bye, y'all. See you later.